Okay, guys, so we're going to continue our series called How to Fight, and we're going to, this time we're going to go How to Fight Thanos, Ultimate 19. Uh, just remember to click the subscribe button, and don't miss out another video by clicking the notification bell next to it. Let's get into it. Alright, guys, so let's... Head into World Boss, and um, so we're gonna go play Thanos Ultimate 19. We have um, Purifying Winds and Toxic Meteorites, and the Valor is 381. We're gonna use Captain Marvel's leadership because we used Nick Fury earlier, so we don't have him anymore. And her leadership's quite good with a um, with a 30% energy attack. And I want to add in Blue Marvel for the for the team up we know that team ups are not a lot but let's just go in um phil colson for the buff and we're gonna go magic weapons mastery captain america nick fury and listener i think he personally should have swapped out nick uh captain america because it was a when attacking when attacked striker for um for the for <clears throat> for power cosmic, which he's just fine. We're just finding it right now. I think he made a, a bit of an error. So, um, so we're using some good strikers because tier three Deadpool, level seventy Cap, level sixty nine Thanos, very strong strikers. So while we're at it, we're just gonna we're just gonna wait. It's loading. So, what you want to do in the first phase of the fight right now is you want to move. If you don't, if you're not using like crescent cap combo, then you should move, or else it'll, it'll jump at you and it should jump straight. So now, when you use the five four combo, make sure you have ignore defense. It's go cool down up, and then he's gonna go into this phase where on this stage he can create purifying winds and these lasers. So you have to stand in few areas that will help you survive and he usually does this at bar 17 and you're this is tier 3 captain marvel so make sure you you use the tier 3 skill well and make sure he doesn't use it during an iframe so so now he's in an iframe he won't get hit so um what you want to do is you want to run around to avoid the fire and the and the spears and then go back into the 5-4 combo in this part of the fight you have to be extra careful because he's immune to debuffs like all defense down and like and then he's gonna iframe and drop these meteors like in the legendary battle for for end game then he's gonna jump and you're gonna have to have to, have to beat him up with your same combo and make sure you use the tier 3 skill when you activate the 5th skill um, and make sure you proc it and sometimes after, right after an attack he will do that um, and make sure you have um, skill cooldown capped so so that your 5th skill can be casted as often as possible it does good damage and has good buffs for this one just run around the outside and make sure you don't get hit by the cull obsidian that's jumping and the meteorites that ebony rolls and drops. Here you, you can use the fourth skill or the fifth skill. We used it ac the fourth skill accidentally so that we can so we so that he, he he the lasers can't attack us. Fourth skill has iframe ignore, so if he's in an iframe like that, that we could have died in, then we then yeah. So, skill, skill cooldown is so important on Captain Marvel. She's a beast with high skill cooldown, with low skill cooldown. So, we finished, we nearly finished the fight. Yeah, we need the tier 3 skill just to end it. Of course, the damage is much better with the 5 4 combo than just the tier 3 skill. And we ended it in 2 minutes 30, so it's. A, so it took around um, two minutes and 
um, two minutes and twenty seven seconds around. So that's all the rewards we got. Thanks for watching, everyone, and stay on the lookout for our next video. Bye.